Hi there guys, it's Eastwood for Life Fan here in a uh, tag and it's a tag that's been going around on the YouTube community and it's I think it was created by um, Magpie Movies with uh, Jordi uh, Paul and um, I was tagged by my good buddy Jeff 101 Bronson and uh, it is a uh, top 10 movies from 10 different genres uh, so i will try to answer the questions as best as i can as uh just getting over the covid jab which i kind of feel a little bit shitty but um we will try to get through this uh tag video because it is a fun uh, tag video where us guys uh, are talking about some of our favorite movies so to the uh, top 10 movies from 10 different movie genres. Uh, the first one being uh, my favorite horror movie. And uh, I'd say eight out of these uh, movies, I didn't really have to think uh, long and hard uh, to being a little bit more difficult. But the first one, favorite horror movie um, with ease, um, just beating uh, an American Whale for London. I had to go for the 1982 John Carpenter sci-fi uh, horror mystery movie, The Thing. Um, yeah, I mean, what is there more to say about this movie? Um, Kurt Russell in this, where he plays a, a US research team where they are hunted down by a shape-shifting alien that disguises itself uh, among uh, animals and human beings um yeah i mean my favorite scene in this one would be where they are kind of seated and uh they're doing the uh testing uh great special effects in the uh remake for the thing movie and uh a great arrow video collector's edition that they put out on on the thing and uh probably will deserve a 4k release of this uh, horror classic uh, had to include uh, a john carpenter movie as he is uh, one of my favorite movie directors out there favorite animated uh, movie uh, i don't have a whole lot of animated uh, movies but i do like the old school disney movies and uh, the favorite one would be lady and the tramp kind of like a romantic uh, tale of a cocker spaniel and a uh, and the mutt um i do like 101 dalmatians also but this one just slightly edges this uh, just edges it for me uh, i'd much prefer kind of like the old school 40s 50s and 60s uh, Disney movies uh, and this one anything to do with um, animals I mean I am an animal lover in cats and dogs and uh, Lady and the Tramp is a real heartwarming tale and uh, I do need to pick this one up on uh, blu-ray and this one's a uh, 1950s uh, Walt Disney animated movie third movie genre is the uh, best drama movie and uh could have thrown in quite a few mixed uh, movie genres but i went for a movie with a great cast and stunning um acting and uh it had to be the godfather the uh saga of the uh Corleone, Corleone, uh, mafia family and uh, even though it's a long movie it's near three hours watching the godfather it could have been a six hour movie of this oscar winning um, 1970s movie i mean many people would probably say marlon brando's performance of uh, don vito corleone uh, was the main um, attraction to this movie but i actually preferred al pacino's uh, character of uh, michael corleone in the godfather I, you know his finest uh, acting performance but the godfather 
I mean, what more can you say about uh, Francis Ford's Coppola's uh, classic? I mean, you also have, uh, not only do you have Brando and Pacino, you have James Kahn, Robert Duvall and John Cazell. I mean, all great actors on screen and uh, it is one of the greatest movies ever filmed, in my opinion. Next we have favourite comedy movie and uh, out of all these 10 movies this is probably the movie that I have watched the most. Uh, the greatest comedy duo in my opinion, the uh, 1937 classic Way Out West where Stan and Ollie have the responsibility of delivering a uh, deed of a gold mine to a, uh, a young woman who's working at a local saloon. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah. This movie, no matter how many times I watch it, it just gets funnier and funnier. I mean, my favourite scene in this would be the scene where James Finlayson and his uh, wife in the movie, they tickle uh, Stan, Laurie, Stan Laurel and they uh, get the, uh, the papered uh, deed off him uh, where Stan just... Uh, he just can't stop laughing. It, it is my favourite Lauren Hardy movie and I never get tired or bored watching uh, these two guys on screen. And you do get the uh, famous on the Trail of the Lon Lonesome Pine uh, scene and you get some very funny comedy scenes with uh, the mule that's on the front cover on this uh, Way Out West uh, DVD. I do need to pick up the Blu-ray of this uh, comedy classic from the 1930s. Next one is favourite action movie. Um, yeah, I didn't even have to think too hard about this one. Uh, Sci-fi action movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger in The Terminator. Um, I know a lot of you might have considered Terminator 2 as the better movie but for me in this uh, 1984 James Cameron movie Arnie playing the uh, cyborg assassin is just more of a badass movie compared to him coming and returning in Terminator 2 as the good guy um, yeah just a great action sci-fi movie I, I mean it is a, a lot more lower budget than the uh, the second movie, I mean, they do have the uh, special effects, but Arnie in this, as the bad guy, just steals the show for me. And uh, I remember hiring this out on video. Uh, as soon as I watched it, I watched it straight away again. A few minutes after, it is that much of a great movie. The Terminator from 1984. Next we have favorite western and uh yeah there are so many great westerns out there but it had to be the good the bad and the ugly just slightly pipping uh once upon a time in the west um this is the movie that made me a uh, movie fan sergio leone's uh, finale of the dollar trilogy movies and uh three great actors uh Clint Eastwood, Lee Van Cleef and Eli Wallach in this great and epic uh, western and uh, no doubt Anino Morricone um, who supplied the uh, soundtrack to this movie uh, added more to the movie it probably still would have been a great and favourite movie of mine but that just adds to it as well as uh, Sergio Leone's fantastic uh, directing and uh, yeah this is a movie it could have been for five hours long and uh, there's no way that I would have got bored from uh, watching this uh, movie my all-time favorite movie and uh, the next one um, probably the toughest choice for me because uh, I mean the channel is based on movie tough guy action heroes uh, are, you know people like the likes of Chuck Norris and Stallone Arnie and Eastwood Steve McQueen uh, the best romantic movie uh, I've got to be honest I don't like watching uh, romantic comedy movies but I don't mind a romantic movie in a uh, storyline so uh, the movie I'm going to 
ch choose uh, may surprise you and it's I'm guessing you guys would have probably been surprised with that choice uh, an officer and a gentleman the 1982 um, movie where Richard Gere he uh, he uh, wants to become a Navy officer and uh, he goes to like a uh, school where they are training for Navy officers um, yeah his girlfriend played by Deborah Winner played a uh, perfect couple for the movie but I do enjoy watching Lou Gossett Jr's uh, performance of the uh, the gunnery sergeant Foley in the movie where he won an Oscar and uh, it's a movie I don't have in my collection and do need to uh, purchase on Blu-ray an officer and a gentleman the uh, 1982 um, movie and uh, I probably would have guessed that a lot of you would have struggled on uh, your choice of that so the next one the best adventure movie had to be Raiders of the Lost Dark the uh, Steven Spielberg uh, 1981 classic uh, set in the 1930s where Harrison Ford plays the archaeologist where he's Indiana Jones is looking for the Ark of uh, Covenant and uh, he has to uh, locate it before the uh, the Nazis uh, obtain it great adventure movie and uh, in fact I like all of the uh, Indiana Jones movie but this one being being my personal favorite in the franchise and my favorite adventure movie well you know clearly the uh, next movie genre is not one of my favorite genres uh, best sci-fi movie and I'm guessing a lot of you probably would have included uh, the Star Wars movies um, but this one kind of like a action sci-fi movie um, had to go with uh, Aliens, another James Cameron movie. Um, and going into this, I wouldn't have thought that this was going to be better than Ridley Scott's uh, original movie, Alien. But this one set 57 years later from the first movie where Officer Ripley becomes more experienced and uh, kind of more badass in this movie where her and a team of marines they tackle the alien creature um great movie and the finale of this is uh, one of my favorites so it had to be aliens uh yeah just slightly a bit better than the the original movie it's kind of like the wild bunch in uh, space for me uh great movie aliens and the last one, the best comic book uh, movie. I, I'm not really a massive Marvel or DC fan. And the movie I, um, I've uh, chosen is the very first Superman movie from 1978, directed by Richard Donner. Um, probably in superheroes, I would much prefer um, the Spider-Man, Batman and Captain America heroes uh, as a comic reading comic books i wasn't a big fan of superman but this movie is a great one i mean not only do you have uh, christopher reeve in this one who was basically a rookie actor but he was kind of camouflaged with uh, other great actors and actresses in this i mean you do get marlon brando gene hackman who played lex luthor ned uh, be glenn ford and margaret kitter um, and also Terence Stamp uh, and the reason why I do like this movie as a uh, superhero movie is because it starts off with uh, Superman at a young age and I do like uh, mainly the first kind of an hour of the movie where an alien orphan gets sent to Earth and then he becomes uh, Earth's greatest uh, superhero in uh, Superman so yeah Superman is my favorite comic book uh, movie so guys there are all my top 10 movies from 10 different genres uh, apart from the uh, the uh, best romantic uh, movie uh, I found this one fairly 
easy to do. Um, be good to hear some of your favorites and selections. Uh, many thanks for Jeff 101 Bronson in uh, tagging us for this uh, top 10 video. So guys, there's my 10 favorite movies from 10 different movie uh, genres. Uh, a few choices there that I'm sure might be in a few other people's um, top 10 uh, selection. So with these tag videos, the the, uh, the thing to do is to tag uh, some other people to get involved, uh, whether they're able to uh, do a video. And I'm going to select five channels, uh, five guys who have um, pretty good movie um mixed genre collections uh, number one i'm going to go for alan at kermit's ghost um, great collection of uh, many uh, many movies uh, i'd like to hear his choices if he's available for a video uh, channel number two i'm going to select is adam from spin 1984 and his multimedia obsession be good to see him put up a video uh, number three will be my good buddy from Spain, um, Ben, Blu-ray Ben, if he gets involved in this tag. I don't believe he's been tagged. Um, number four, all the way from Australia, Jace, uh, another guy. I don't think I've tagged or shouted his uh, channel name. And uh, great collecting a lot of mixed uh, movie uh, genres. And uh, number five, one of my favourite movie uh, reviewers on YouTube is Real Classic uh, Film Reviews, uh, Stephen. So if those five guys can do a, a tag, their top ten movies from ten movie genres. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Be good to hear your comments. Uh, until the next video, stay healthy and well and uh, take care.